Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Boy Caden. I'm G. I'm Sophie. And today we've got how big do tsunamis get? I love Ooh. weather stuff. So this was a bit Jim. of a pick by uh, Dana. <laughs> yeah. She loves it. I, I love anything to do with weather. Here. I've ever been Fast caught up in a tsunami. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> they are fascinating though, aren't they? Yeah. Like how just they can happen. Like just, the world. just anything to do with weather just fascinates me. We went to um, Thailand every year for many years, and obviously they. A lot were... of tsunamis happen in Thailand, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they were hit yeah. with a really. Hasn't the big, the worst one in history happened in Thailand? Yeah, it was a really. In like twenty ten or something. Yeah, it was a really big uh, tsunami, but there was an, a, a small restaurant bar that they built, um, and we got chatting to the owners, mm. and it was a Thai lady and a Canadian man, and he'd actually flown over to help rebuild um, Phuket. We were in it, help rebuild Phuket. Yeah. Went over there, he'd retired, went over and just helped to, you know, clear stuff up and then ended up building this this bar restaurant. Fell in love with her and they got married. It was like such oh. a, a lovely story. No, that's a great story. It is, yeah. Anyway, are you ready to watch the video now? Yes. <laughs> Find out how big they really get. Tsunamis are some of the most powerful and deadliest forces of nature. Within recent memory, you may recall both the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami and 2011 Japan tsunami, both of which resulted in catastrophic damage and loss of life. The Indian Ocean tsunami happened after a massive earthquake struck here in the Indian Ocean. The earthquake itself released more energy than every single explosive detonated in the entire Second World War, including the nuclear bombs. This enormous amount of energy created a tsunami that reached heights of 30 meters high in some places, or about the height of 17 people stacked on top of each other. The wave smashed into Indonesia, South Asia, and the east coast of Africa, punching as deep as 2 kilometers inland from the coast in some places. As you can see from photos like this one, the damage in these places was often extensive. The tragedy claimed the lives of around 250,000 people, making it the deadliest tsunami in all of history, while the 2011 Japan tsunami was the costliest in terms of damage. That tsunami was also generated by an earthquake that created waves as high as 40.5 meters, just about 5 meters shorter than the Statue of Liberty, that came slamming into the Japanese east coast, traveling up to 10 kilometers inland away from the coast. As you can see from photos like this that look like something straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster with what used to be a road stretching out into the endless ocean, the economic cost to Japan was enormous. An estimated $300 billion in damages was done, more than the entire GDP of South Africa. But these are what are called regular tsunamis, and there is an entire other class of gigantic waves that are simply called mega tsunamis. Unlike a regular tsunami that is created by an earthquake, a mega tsunami is usually created when a massive amount of material suddenly falls into water, which displaces that water into a huge wave. The most tragic and possibly terrifying instance of this happening in recent times was back in 1963 here in Italy, just 100 kilometers north of Venice. The Italian government and a construction company were building what at the time was going to be the largest dam on Earth. The only problem was that they were building this dam with a huge water reservoir the size of a large lake right next to one of the most unstable mountains on the planet. For months leading up... I never knew that Italy had. That already sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, but I never knew that Italy had a tsunami. Mm -hmm. They were saying it's it's not in a way, but it's probably more like a man-made tsunami in a sense, like because yeah. they built the dam. Yeah. yeah. That's then gonna like impact it. Yeah. Are we say I'm thinking like the mountains like falling into the yeah. lake? Yeah. 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 That's what I'm thinking as well. God up to the completion of the dam, there were several minor landslides and other signs that there could be a catastrophe coming, but rather than heed the numerous warning signs, the Italian government actually decided to sue the few journalists reporting on the issue for, quote, undermining the social order. The government and company continued to ignore all the warning signs until it was obvious that the mountain was actually going to collapse directly into the dam's reservoir. The engineers calculated the landslide that would likely occur, lowered the water in the reservoir to what they believed was a safe level and then actually stood on top of the dam the night that they expected the landslide to occur to watch it all go down. The only problem was, the landslide ended up being over 10 times more powerful than what their calculations had predicted. This is a view of that mountain today. This right here used to be the reservoir, and all the land that's there now came crashing off the mountain from these areas that are now exposed white rock. 
This tremendous amount of earth and rock fell into the reservoir in a matter of seconds, completely filled the entire reservoir, and generated a wave 250 meters high that flew over the top of the dam and into the villages below. The wave was almost the same height as the Transamerica building in San Francisco for some reference, and caused an impact crater 60 meters deep and 80 meters wide when it slammed into the ground on the other side of the dam. If you were standing from this angle looking up at the dam at the exact moment that the wave came over it, the entire sky that you see in this picture would be completely covered by water. This photo was taken in the town of Longorone, which before the mega tsunami looked like this, but afterwards looked like this, completely destroyed. Around 2,000 people lost their lives in the accident, but it's not actually the largest mega tsunami even in recent history. That distinction would have to go to a mega tsunami that happened here in Lutuya Bay, Alaska back in 1958. A powerful earthquake caused a massive landslide to occur here at the backside of the bay. The huge amount of land that came crashing into the bay created a titanic wave 525 meters high that slammed into this part of the bay, completely went over it and smashed into the other side here, causing huge amounts of damage to the rest of the bay and destroying millions of trees. The height of this wave was over 100 meters higher than the tip of the Empire State Building, and just 16 meters short of the recently built One World Trade Center in New York City. But even this is tiny in comparison to some prehistoric mega tsunamis. The largest tsunami generated from a landslide happened around 1.5 million years ago in Hawaii, on the specific island of Molokai. At some point around that time, about one-third of the northern portion of the volcano collapsed into the ocean and generated a wave 600 meters high, which would have completely inundated the entire island of Molokai and wreaked havoc on the rest of the island chain. This wave would have been about the height of four great pyramids of Giza stacked on top of each other, but even that pales in comparison to the largest ever known mega tsunami, which was caused by an asteroid. About 66 million years ago, the same asteroid that likely killed the dinosaurs also caused possibly the largest mega tsunami in all of Earth's history when it crashed into the modern day Gulf of Mexico. The asteroid was 10 kilometers in diameter and released an unbelievable 100 teratons of TNT worth of energy. For comparison, the Tsar Bomba, which is the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated, released only one two millionth of that same amount of energy. You would need two million Tsar bombs to release this same amount of energy, which caused an equally unbelievable wave of up to five kilometers high that would have smashed into the Gulf Coast states of the modern day United States. That's higher than the Matterhorn in the Alps by about 500 <coughs> extra meters. In fact, the height is higher than all of the mountains in the entire Alpine mountain range. These waves were so big that if they were to have happened in the Indian Ocean, the entire island of Madagascar would have been completely submerged underwater for a time. Imagine being on an island the size of Madagascar in this scenario, with absolutely no escape from the clutches of the ocean's waves no matter how high on the land that you can get to. It's a weird thought, but at least it happened 66 million years ago, and there's really no fear of something like that ever happening again, right? Unless the 0.00001% chance of one of the Canary Islands... <laughs> Don't say that, mate. We're off to touch wood now. Canary Islands, this is where Grandma's volcano is. <laughs> Every day when you come it's out, she, she looks at the volcano and oh. it's not erupted for like years and years, but... Oh God. Like, I, I, I remember away. when I went to her and I, and I was having lunch with her, I was telling her about the likeliness of a, the, when the next volcano is going to happen. And I was like, <laughs> in the next, uh, like you said, like in the next 60 years, it's like an 80% chance. Nice. I know. That's the, you can't stop it though, can you? And, when you, what, she, and what did she say to you? Been saying that for years. <laughs> <laughs> collapsing into the ocean during your lifetime happens, which would cause a tsunami about one kilometer high and would probably wipe out the entire east coast of the United States. Unless that happens, then no, probably not. But it's still fun to think about. This video has been brought to you by Audible.com, with over 180,000 audiobooks in almost every genre you can imagine. You can get a free 30-day trial today by going to audible.com slash reallifelore. You can get a completely free audiobook of your choice, and if you like the video that you just... They get pretty big, don't they? They do, they get huge. I didn't realise that there were, like, mega tsunamis, mm. like man-made ones, especially that one in Italy. Like, no. I've, never, I've never heard of that. No, no I've not neither. No. I thought it was just dull. Just wiped out a whole town, just yeah. like that. Yeah. No, it's crazy. And they were warned against it as well. They just... Mm. Yeah. Just ignored it. Mm -hmm. Just pure stupidity to build it there, really. I think yeah. the mountain was going to come down. Yeah. Do you know what I, I mean? find it crazy as well how they know 
how far back things happened. Like, how do they know that there was, like, a tsunami on that island, like, 1.5 million years ago? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. how can you... How do you know that's happened? Yeah. Because it was that long ago. Like, what evidence is there? Scientists will yeah. do their I mean, job. I there's clearly a way. I'm sure there's yeah. somebody like, screaming at us going, well, <laughs> this is how. Yeah. Please tell me. <laughs> I find it really interesting, though. I love it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so we've just watched the video about how big tsunami is getting. Now we're going to take a look at like an actual a, real actual, video yeah. of yeah. the Japan tsunami, yeah. which apparently caused three hundred billion in damage. Crazy. Very expensive. All across northern Japan, they felt it. A violent magnitude nine point zero earthquake on March eleventh, two thousand eleven. It was centered about 80 miles offshore, and tsunami warnings went up immediately. In coastal cities, people knew what to do next, run to higher ground. It's from these vantage points on hills and in tall buildings that incredible footage was captured. In Kesanuma, people retreated to a high-rise rooftop and could only watch in horror as tsunami waves inundated their city knocking buildings into rubble and mixing into a kind of tsunami soup filled with vehicles, building parts, and contents. Seawater cap it makes it worse when the water's like so black and D stuff dirty. and dirty yeah. as well. It makes it worse because in anybody trying to find survivors. It's harder. Yeah. It's Way yeah. harder, yeah. yeah. Cascaded over sea walls and into cities. This video shows the water rushing over an 18-foot seawall in the Kamaishi city. The seawall here was the world's deepest and largest, but not enough for the magnitude of the March 11 disaster. It was the largest quake ever known in Japan, and one of the five largest recorded in the world. More than 28,000 people are confirmed dead or missing. When two tectonic plates push together under the sea, the resulting earthquake sends an enormous burst of energy up through the ocean, displacing enormous quantities of water. With the upward motion, a series of waves expands in all directions. In deep water, these waves travel fast, up to 500 miles an hour, but only reach a height of a few feet. A passing ship might not even notice. But as the waves enter shallow waters, friction with the ocean floor lowers the wave's speed, but raises their height. This video is from a Japan Coast Guard ship confronting a tsunami wave in shallow water on March 11. And a rare view from the air, video of a tsunami wave approaching the shoreline. In Japan, some tsunami waves reach as far as three miles inland. Japan may be the most seismologically studied country in the world, and with more than 1,200 high-precision GPS stations, a geophysicist at the University of Alaska used the data to create a visualization of the March 11 quake. The waves of displacement that you see were moving as fast as five miles per second. In this photo, the ripples of tsunami waves are seen moving upstream in the Naka River at Hitachi Naka City. New technology left an enormous amount of visual evidence for study in years to come and can perhaps help us better understand the power of earthquakes and tsunamis and prevent loss of life in the future. Wow. How do you even like clean that off and get it back to normal after that? I don't know. It must take like months, years. if not years, years, years definitely. Years, yeah. 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 yeah, when we went to uh, Thailand, it was probably seven years after it happened, mm. and it was still devastation. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I hopefully never get caught up in one. No, you have to be a fast runner. I'm fast. Yeah. I can't run. I'll just swim under it. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course you <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.